Hello everyone, here's a question on rational numbers. The question is, give a rational number that is equivalent to 4 by 7 with numerator 20 and denominator 28. Now, they want to find out a equivalent rational number of 4 by 7 where in the first one we have to find the numerator which is 20 and the denominator should be 28. So let's do this. So the first one, they want the numerator to be 20, right? Now the number here is 4 by 7 so 4 by 7 we have now how to find out the equivalent rational number so there are two ways when you can multiply and when you can divide here 20 is greater than 4 they want numerator to be 20 right so the 4 has to be turned into 20 now so if we divide I'll not get 20 so obviously we have to multiply here so to find out the equivalent rational number it's normal method to find out the equivalent you can either multiply or you can divide so divide means you should have a common factor between 4 and 7 but here we're going to multiply now the question here is with 4 what we should multiply to get 20 so we have 4 by 7 so 7 we have so with 4 what we should multiply to get 20 in the numerator we want 20 in the numerator right that's a question so the number will be 5 4 5 is at 20 so the same 5 I'm going to multiply in the denominator also so when you're finding an equivalent rational number like I said you can multiply or divide so when you're multiplying or dividing you should do with the same number in the numerator and denominator so we got 5 so 4 5 is at 20 and 7 5 is at 35 so 20 by 35 is an equivalent rational number of 4 by 7 with the numerator 20 similarly the second question uh, 4 by 7 we have so this is equal to so again we want seven uh, we have to change the denominator this time so with seven what we should multiply to get 28 so we want 28 right so four seven fours is 28 so we're going to multiply here with four because seven fours is 28 we want 28 in the denominator the same four are going to multiply in the numerator so four fours are 16 so 16 by 28 that's it so here first in the first question we had to multiply with 5 in the second one we had to multiply with 4 I hope this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment and I'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching